Hello, David. We noticed that you mentioned many innovative voice services in your speech. What is Telefonica's strategic positioning for voice innovation? Yeah, thanks for the question. So, you know that after we launched Voice over IP with Volte in 2015, we noticed that there has not been a lot of innovation in the voice space, right? And we as Telco are really a true believer in, you know, innovating around voice and communications, which is key for our services, right? So we are start uh, to look at what we can do with 5G and other technologies that we are right now in a shift of technology. For instance, if we think about APIs, qualification, etc. right? So our strategy for technology innovation goes around three pilots. The first one is amplification of voice. The second one is the way towards XR and holographics, which is an important part. And the third one is super important for us, which is new calling. So we've been doing uh, a lot of innovation around new calling, and specifically, we launched um, you know, innovation project in our Brazil network during last year. So, David, why did you choose the Brazil subnet to do new calling OB? And what were the insights that you gained there from deployment and innovation? Yeah, well, in order to do this new calling project, it's important to have a good uh, deployment for Volte, specifically an IMS. So, Brazil is pretty solid in that regard. And also, we have a good penetration of the Volte services there, and also a good forecast for that penetration in terms of commercial services for Volte and IMS. And also, it's important to you know, have a good presence in the B2B market. I will tell you later why, but it's important because we are starting with B2B services first. So during last year, we, we did a number of POCs around this project and also some business incubation. And obviously new calling is a, uh, a fledgling uh, solution at the moment in the industry and still very much in the early stages of development. Uh, what would be your suggestions for how to succeed in this space? And also, what is the scale of the market potential and value out there? Yeah, good question. So first of all, in terms of the technologies that we are seeing here, our approach has been always to go through different phases. So we started to look at the feature which is IMS Data Channel Technology, which we believe we are going to have the full interactivity and enhanced voice experience that we can have with new calling, but also to try to do use cases that can be anticipated using a technology that is already there, which is built in, right? So we started to think about which use cases we can get to the market faster, and that's why I mentioned B2B. We believe that a clear way to monetization, it's always to start with our corporate uh, market. And we selected a couple of use cases where we saw that market potential. Specifically, there are two use cases that we've been testing and trial in, in our Brazil network in the lab, which is light up the screen, a service thought to enrich with visual information the voice calls towards customer care and contact centers. And the second thing will be very, very well received now, I guess, it's the translation and transcription services. What visual information for a voice call to have this help to the corporate users in this case. So that's our strategy. First, think about simple use cases, but that can be implemented quicker because they don't have this technical complexity. And then try to enrich them as much as you can with this IMS data channel technology that will bring full interactivity to it. And maybe later, if we succeed here, our thing is let's bring it to the consumer market. We can magnify the base that we can address with them. So this is more or less what we think. Thank you, David. Very interesting to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me here.